Hello, graphic designers and world. My name is Mark John from www.markjohndesigns.com. And today I'll briefly discuss how to contour cut. Um, this particular design right here um, was under 50 inches. So I set up, uh, you know, the canvas accordingly. Um, you know, over 50 inches determines how many registration marks you will need. So for this particular one, I created four three millimeter marks around the canvas. Uh, there's a variety of different cutters that you can use. Uh, we use the Suma D140 here. So, uh, you know, after you set up your four markers, you uh, evenly space them across the canvas, you know, horizontal, horizontal and vertical. And uh, the way you can check that is uh, use your tools in Illustrator, your line and distribute tools, and uh, make sure that those are evenly spaced. Um, after you've done so, uh, you check your path. You have to create a path for every uh, piece of artwork because the path actually um, lets the cutter know uh, where it will be cutting at. So you want to make sure that when you, you create your path, uh, you make sure all your anchors are closed or joined so uh, the cutter cuts appropriately and around the design uh, correctly. So, uh, you know, create, uh, create your path for your artwork using the Pathfinder tool or the pen tool, whatever it, it uh, calls for. And after you've done so, um, you know, export your path into an EPS. We save down to a CS3 here. So you want to save two files. You want to save the print file and you want to save the cut file. And you know, name them print and cut, that's what I do. Um, and then you uh, import your print file into your RIP software and send that to the printer. And, uh, you know, after you're done uh, laminating, um, you know, you want to make sure, you know, uh, based on the laminate that it's able to read the registration marks because uh, there's been times where we've laminated and we use a really thick laminate and, you know, the registration marks don't work and we've had a cutout vinyl for uh, the registration marks. So make sure that, you know, you double check your registration marks so the cutter can read it. Because there's a, you know, on the D140 we have an OPA sensor which uh, picks up the registration marks and uh, you know if it can't pick them up then obviously it's not going to cut right so um, make sure that your registration marks are readable by the OPA sensor and then after you've done so um, you know send uh, set up your uh, print on the cutter uh, send the cut uh, you know the, the sensor is going to pick up the registration marks cut uh, the print accordingly and uh, there you go. You have your uh, contour cut design. And that's pretty much it. I'll be going on a few, few other things uh, later on this month. Uh, just keep posted. Log on to www.markjohndesigns.com. And I'll talk to you then.